So I gotta move this around just a little so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, well, so the first one I put on my video camera and it's not wanting to upload. So we are through <clears throat> the uh, curling iron and the haircut. Um, and somehow I'm gonna try and get that up on here. It's giving me problems. Um, so I'm just gonna start where I'm at and see if I can get this to work for me. Okay, so let me get my stuff out of the way. Um, so you can see this is my setup from the first section. Um, I finished the haircut, she's checked my haircut, and now I'm just waiting, everybody else got theirs checked. So um, now we're on to the next thing. Uh, let me turn the page. Okay, work area and new client preparation, setup of supplies, 15 minutes. So I have 15 minutes to do this. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna give you the verbal instructions about breaking down your work area and setting up for all of your chemicals. Um, do not demonstrate any procedures until they do it. So this is just setting this up, okay? Um, so they, they run through the whole thing. You have 15 minutes to do it. They repeat and then they say you may begin. Okay, so now I'm kind of out of the loop because I was going. So first thing I'm gonna do is sanitize my hands. Okay, um, after I finished cutting with the razor before, okay, I already had put that in my little thing. So I'm just gonna put this in my um, to be disinfected bag. I'm gonna grab a wipe and wipe my shear. And you could do this as soon as you finish the haircut because they're not gonna grab your scissor from you. It's not one to close. Um, but I'm gonna wipe this off. And again, put it in my to be disinfected and my wipe in the trash. Um, all of my clips, my combs, my brush, all of this stuff needs to go in to be disinfected. And this in the trash. I'm going to need my water bottle still, so I'm leaving that out. And my hand sanitizer, roll up your curling iron the way I tell you not to do it. And it goes into be disinfected. We can see how fast this is. Okay. <clears throat> to be disinfected. Your cape comes off. And your next strip. Honestly, um, I could use the same doll for the second part of the, the test. Since she's still damp in the back, that's going to help me out. She's pretty well dry up front, but I've been trying to upload that video for um, almost an hour now. So she's pretty well dry. Um, she might um, have been a little bit wet for that, but I'm just going to use the same doll. Maybe not. I don't remember if the other one's better to comb or not. So that's in the trash. This is in my soiled linens. Okay. Um, so I'm going to grab a wipe. Oh, I missed a piece of hair, which is why you do this. I'm going to slide everything over to this side. And I'm going to wipe my table. Okay, so I'm wiping them to where I'm at with them. Ooh, and I've wiped this table. Okay, wipe the bottom, wipe the bottom of that. Wipe the bottom of this. Again, my giant first aid kit just because. Didn't have another one. Um, pick these up. Wipe. Wipe the bottom. Wipe the bottom. Set it down. This goes in the trash. Trash. There we go. Okay, now I need to set up my other one. So I'm going to pull my bag. I do have another doll in here, but I'm not going to even worry about it. Okay, I'm going to set that up. I'm going to close my bag. I'm going to sanitize my hands. I'm going to get everything out of my bag here. Um, I did not find a kitty cake to use in my practice bag. So I'm just going to set everything out. And remember, guys, I have ripped a foil. I have 
15 minutes to do this. This is plenty of time. Okay, my water, that's full. I'm just going to set everything out to start with because I don't have a lot of space here. Soapy water, my clips. Okay, if I was on um, just a single table, that would have just hit the floor. Okay, so I'm going to want to go pick it up. Put it in my to be disinfected right there. Sanitize my hands and then finish. Okay, this bag goes in the trash. Now I'm going to start getting these things set up because I still have like over 10 minutes. Okay, I know that the first thing I'm going to use is my color. I want that on top. The very first thing is perming. Okay, so just kind of slide this stuff out of the way. I'll get the clip. Clip our hair up out of the way. Much easier if this was a pin cake. I'm still going to put this on her backwards just because it's got the other things hanging down the back. And this one does not fit great, but it does fit on there. This is where you need to be careful if you have this big cape, because I don't want to be knocking anything off of my ledge here. Tighten that up a little bit or it's going to fall off. There we go. Okay, so I've got that all down there. First thing I'm going to do is firming. So I want that stuff right here where it's handy. Oh, I guess I need to put the second towel on, don't I? That clip came out of her hair to put on there. Okay. Got my cotton, my barrier cream, oil, stack of gloves, tint brushes. You got 15 minutes. Don't get in a big rush about this. Because you want it where it's handy for you while you're working. So what I did with mine, whoops, you can kind of tell. I folded a cotton ball, the Q-tip, and a paper towel right into the foil that I'm going to use um, for my strand test. And then I have my other foils in a separate pile. They're just going to sit right on top of each other. Let's go in the trash because I ripped it. So you might want to have a couple extra foils, which I know I have extra foils in my foil thing. All right, so we get firm rods open. You guys are going to get so bored watching me do this. Oh my gosh. So, again, I'm going to turn her sideways so you can kind of see what I'm doing. This is not the way you would do it at boards. You'd be standing over here behind her, but you can't see what I'm doing if I do that. Okay, so I'm set up. That took like five minutes. You have 15. So, you're going to be kind of freaking out because you're going to be like, okay, what I forget? Just know that if you've practiced this enough times, you're going to be fine with it, okay? And that you're okay. Um, if you think about it, if you're using one of these rather than the big plastic ones that we have, there's a little sticker thing on the bottom of here that you can stick, which I'm going to do, otherwise I'll be throwing it all over. You can just stick that right down on your table where you're going to want to reach, okay? I'm right-handed. I want that right there so that when I go to wrap this perm, I can... Do that, okay? I just put that in the trash, even though I didn't trust to touch the trash bag. I'm going to sanitize my hands again, just because that's what they say. Okay, so 15 minutes is up. Everybody's done. Um, so chemical waving, 20 minutes. They read all the verbal instructions. You guys have all have heard this a few times. So except for maybe the new starts. Um, and you know what? Now I thought of it. I don't have Jennifer on here. I need to put her on here. Um, but you're gonna have 20 minutes to just wrap the center back section of the head. Okay, so 
Like I said, I'm using my same doll. She's a little bit damp yet, but she's pretty much dry. She's a little wet underneath still, which is just going to help me out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and section. It does not matter if you use a rat tail or a regular comb. You guys all know I like a regular comb for perming, but either one is going to be fine as far as boards go. So, okay, lady, let's get you rolled up. Okay, I've got 20 minutes to do this. You guys are all that fast. You have 20 minutes to do this, okay? So you do not have to section this top section. It's just gonna make it easier to get the back section in number one and to, um, that, that way you're already set up for the next sectioning that you have to do. So I'm gonna get her sectioned. I really hope this works, guys, because I really, I seriously sat here for an hour trying to get the other, the first half up. So, and it's supposedly getting ready now, but I finally got, it also took a half an hour to get this live to come up for me because I thought, okay, if I can't get my, my uh, video camera to work, then I'll just do it live and transfer it that way because I'm pretty sure you can see all this. I know at least one other thing I did live. So I'm just grabbing this whole side section and getting it out of my way. Great. So now you get to watch me wrap perm rods for a little bit. You guys that actually have stuff at home can follow along or, yeah, I'm a little skinny at the bottom. You guys know this is my spot. I want to make sure that that part is straight. Again, you have 20 minutes to do this. So don't get in a rush. You know, if something doesn't look quite right, go ahead and fix it. Because you're better off to get set up ahead of time than have to kind of keep reparting as you go. Okay, so I'm going to stand back here. See where I'm at. Still a little bit narrow at the bottom. I'm still a little narrow, but at this point, it's going to be fine. It's not that big. Um, you get her wet, obviously, to wrap the perm rods. And again, you'd be standing behind her, not beside. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these. I don't know if you guys can hear the radio or not, but, you know, whatever. You can put your music on while you're watching me wrap a darn perm. Make sure your parts are straight. This one doesn't look crazy straight to me, but. And I know it looks way easier when I'm doing it than when you're trying to do it. Yeah, she does some part real good. Practice this stuff on the dolls that you're wanting to bring so that you'll find out, okay, this doll, she was, you know, remember I put you know, once I get the first part of it up, you'll know, I actually put um, the fabric softener on her because I struggled so bad just trying to get her comb through when I watched. There's one stinking piece of hair right here going the wrong way. There we go. And remember, too, I've got her all the way up, but I'm still tall enough to do it this way. The girls that aren't quite as tall may have to hold that just a little bit differently. Yeah, I don't really have much to say. I'm just going to be wrapping away here. I've messaged Jeanette, so my phone may go off at some point. Um, because if I continue to struggle like this and we have any more time to do, um, I already have videos up for the nail chapters, which I know some of you have already done. Um, I'm going to check the grade book and see how many haven't done them. Uh, because we could just as soon, just as well do those, because I know that I can get those transferred over. They're not giving me any problems, the ones I already had up. The problem is, is that um, YouTube no longer supports the way my videos come up from my video camera. 
and I'm having trouble getting them changed over. So it just keeps telling me there was an error and they can't upload the video. So I am going to go home um, tomorrow and watch my grandkids for a little while so Kate can go to her doctor appointment. But um, hopefully Noah will be there. I don't know if he has to work tomorrow or not. But hopefully he'll be there and he can help me get some of this up. Maybe that'll help. I mean, I'm going to be home for probably um, three or four hours before I have to come back here. So, but I will have my grandkids. So that's, you know, a whole other story. Okay, you can tell this is that same doll that has some texturizing going on. When they're little pieces like that and they can see how much I'm wrapping up, they're not going to worry about a few little pieces that are sticking out because especially if you use the same doll and you did any texturizing with your razor, if you chose to texturize rather than cut that bottom, excuse me, bottom line with it, you'll have the little pieces hanging out. How am I doing? They're kind of following the line. I don't know if anybody watched the clock. I didn't really watch the clock a whole lot because I know I can get this done. Plenty of time. The rod has to, the hair has to go around the rod at least two and a half times. I got a twist in that one. A little fighting going on here with this. Not bad. I mean, seriously, if your rods look like this, even if they're not, um, if the bands aren't completely perfect, they're not going to dock you. If they're looking like spools of thread, that's what they're supposed to look like. My hair's getting dry. You can wrap with one paper. Um, most people, when they wrap with one, they tend to pull those ends together and they want to see this hair spread out all the way across the paper. So, easier to do with two. Wonder what would happen if I went to boards. I'd probably be saying, um, you know, you're not supposed to do highlights on the front hairline. Not in a big rush. It's, it's a plenty of time. I'm guessing I'm probably at about 10 minutes. I think it was about quarter after when I started, so. And you have 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes just for the wrapping part of it. <clears throat> that 20 minutes does not include the saturation and all that. But even if I didn't finish this and they said, please stop working, they would come over and ask me the same things. I've got enough rods in there when I, where I can demonstrate the things that they're going to ask me to demonstrate. Last one. Oops, I got a piece of hair from over there. Oh, you can tell I cut the you can tell I cut the bottom of this doll with a razor. Just saying. Oops. Okay, so they're looking. I probably have a little bit too much hair in that one, but gives you a general idea there. Ah, just bounced my comb again. So in the to be disinfected it goes and sanitize my hands. Quit bouncing the comb on your belly, Gina. Actually, that time it was on my hip. So, okay, so I'm done. I'm going to step back. 
step back. They're going to come over and they're going to say, they're going to ask me to please demonstrate saturation. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab gloves. Put my gloves on. I have no idea what size the gloves are that are in this kit. So bear with me if they're too small or too big. I think I actually got a medium there. So I'm going to glove up. Grab my spatula. Barrier cream. Does not take very much. I can either use the spatula or I can use a finger, which for me, I'm better off using a finger. I'm gonna put that right down there on the bottom. Now I'm gonna get my doll nice and stained. Um, in the trash, that spatula, whoop. Spatula went in the trash. Sanitize your hands, okay. You can use the towel, okay, to wipe your hands if you need to. Okay, I'm gonna put my cotton on all the way around. Saturation. Switch my lids, I've already got my water in here. Actually, I need to put the lid back on my barrier cream. There we go. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Just back and forth. Stop that flow on every rod. Top and bottom. You see that splatter? Okay. I'm just gonna sit back up there. That's gonna be fine there. Um, you could put that in the trash right away, but I feel like every time you put something in the trash, you need to be sanitizing your hands. So I'm going to leave it sit up there. Um, then they're going to ask me to do a test curl. Doesn't really matter. All my rods are wrapped the same. Um, and they're all wet, so they're going to show, right? Okay, I'm unrolling. Got my thumbs on that hair there. And then I'm just going to turn in. Okay, this doll was not pre-perm. You can tell she's straight, but they at least know that I'm doing... That the right way, roll it back in, and then they're gonna say, please remove a rod. Which mind you, I'm standing behind her, not to the side like I am here. So I'm just taking the rod right above that. Okay, maybe not, because I just snapped them together. Okay, I'm gonna unroll. Make sure that they see you unroll it all the way. Rod, papers, okay, trash, to be disinfected. And then they're going to say, don't do anything more. And they're going to go to the next person. Okay. So you had um, 20 minutes to roll. Um, that was 15 minutes, 16 minutes altogether through everything. So we're good. You do not have to change your gloves. Okay. You can leave your gloves on at this point. Um, but now I'm done with that. So where am I? Looking for, okay, demonstrating the test curl. Okay, next thing, um, they're, after I did that, took that one out, they're gonna say, do not remove the remaining rods until instructed to do so. When everybody's done, you're gonna get another set of directions. It's not a whole separate, it's, it's still part of the perming, okay? So um, all examiners have indicated they're ready to proceed. You'll remove all the remaining rods from the head and create five sections for the remaining chemical services. You have five minutes to do this, okay? You have five minutes to do this. So plenty of time. It took, what, five minutes to put them in? Seven minutes maybe to put them in? So you have five minutes to do this. All you got to do is take your cotton off, put it in the trash, and start taking rods out. Start from the bottom so things don't get mixed up. Okay, take your papers off as you're going. I've got papers in my left hand. Oop, rod in my right. That one's stuck. Just snapped her head with it, is what I did. And it's hard with that hair up above. Usually, I can do about five or six in my hand. Um, it depends on how big your hands are. I mean, I wear medium gloves, so my hands aren't really big, but I've also had a lot of practice. Okay, so the rest of these will go up better. Make sure that you're putting your papers in the trash, your rods in the tube, be disinfected. Let me get this done here. Because I already have that top piece. I mean, we're at a minute. 
Okay, I still have another four minutes to finish this. And get those parts in, which I might need because she's just kind of got some yucky hair to do. I don't know how long Facebook or this uh, YouTube live runs, so I hope it doesn't cut us off in the middle of something. Okay, so I'm going to grab my comb. The one I used while I was perming went down in the trash. Okay, so I'm just going to put a center part right down there where I had those perm rods. And then I'm going to put a side part. Please don't fall off the table, lady. If your baby does fall off the table, just pick her up and put her back up. If your cape falls off, you need a fresh cape. Um, I would put, you know, extra things like that. I put a few extra things in. I'm not sure what I put in. In the side outside pocket of my black bag. So that I wouldn't have to get into the main part. But at this point, there's nothing left in my black bag except extras. Okay, so I'm short on clips because I dropped that one, remember? I have one more flat clip, so. So I know that this is the first section that I'm gonna do right here um, after I do my little um, allergy test. So I'm gonna take this clip, the one clip I have left. This is why you would want extra clips. Okay, you know what, let's pretend I don't have an extra clip. I've still got perm rods laying here. Okay, so if I don't have an extra clip, do the best you can with what you have available. Guess what, I can take this and just stick that right there. And that's gonna keep that section where I want it, right? Okay, but I do have a clip, so I'm gonna use a clip. So I would not put those in your to be disinfected until you have your sections done here, okay? So my sections are done. I really could at this point now take the rest of these perm rods and throw them in my to be disinfected before I stand up. I can take my end wraps because I don't need them anymore and put them in my to be disinfected and set back. Well, oh yeah, my firm solution. I'm still just, I'm gonna leave it sit there because I think at words you're gonna be so stinking nervous that you're not gonna worry, you're not gonna be thinking about that. <clears throat> okay, that was five minutes. So that was how much time we had. Um, next thing is your predisposition test and strand test with simulated product. They'll read the whole directions that you're doing a predisposition test, which is a patch test or an allergy test, all the same thing. Okay, but they're going to say predisposition test and strand test. So this is one thing, but we're doing two things. Okay, it's one section of the test, but there's two different things that we're going to be doing. Um, so... You have how much time for this one? 10 minutes for this, mind you. Okay, so they've read the directions and they say you may begin. I'm gonna sanitize my gloves, okay? In my little handy dandy thing here, I've got my cotton ball and my paper towel and my foil and all that stuff. Okay, so I need to open up my soapy water, get that wet, close my soapy water, Oh, I got bubbles. Okay. And I'm going to just wipe that off. Right. In the trash that goes. Grab my color. There's not a whole lot of color left in this, so it could be a little bit of a problem. I grab my color. My Q-tip, and I'm just going to put a dot of color right back here. Okay, at this, you know what, this is kind of being a pain. So I'm gonna actually drop the other side and put the clip over here, just to hold that out of my way for the moment. Okay, there's my little dot of color there. In the trash that goes. I really don't wanna clean all this up when I'm done. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, how much time do we have for this? 10 minutes, we have 10 minutes for this. I gotta turn it so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, 
So I'm going to take this section, the rat tail comb. I'm going to come about an inch and a half down from the top. I clip that right in with that just to get it out of my way. Make a slice. Take a section about at three quarters of an inch right out of the middle of that slice. Just keep that piece of hair right there. Okay. Get my foil. I'm going to put my foil in there. Hold that down. I'm not big of these small, fan of these small brushes, so I'm using a small brush for this. But I'm really going to just go in and Put that color on there, work it up a little bit. I'm just going to close the foil this way. Boom, done. Do not step back. Don't step back because if you step back, they're going to grade you. Don't step back. Okay. I'm kind of watching the time because I need to be somewhere. Okay. So at this, then I'm going to put my comb down. I'm going to grab my paper towel. I'll put that under there this down for the moment, okay? Squirt it with the water bottle and clean it off. Again, they're not going to get too crazy about how you do this as long as you're doing, getting it wiped off, okay? There's your test strand, okay? Trash, trash. Still working on the same client. I do not have to worry about my combs at this point, okay? So that's done. Next section, okay, if everybody's done, they've stepped back. They've already marked y'all. Okay, next one is highlighting with foil, virgin application with colored simulated product. You have 15 minutes to do this. Four foils, 15 minutes. First one has to be here on the front. Last one has to be up here at the top. Okay, I am, I foil from the front. If you're more comfortable foiling from the back, you're fine. So they've read all this to you. They say you may begin. Okay, how much time do I have? 10 minutes? 15 minutes. 15. Okay, sanitize my hands. Okay, I got to pull down that piece that I had stuck up there to get out of my way. I'm actually going to take my clip and put it over there because I'm on the same way. There. Pintail. You guys know I don't like pintails either. My part wasn't exactly straight, but you know what? I would not freak out about that. I want to do a skinny slice of hair, which is really hard to do because her hairline is curved. Okay, you can weave. You do not have to weave. I'm not going to weave. I'm just making my slice a little bit skinnier. Okay, well, guess what, client? I forgot to get my product out. Okay, so I'm going to put that over there. I got 15 minutes to do this. I'm really not too concerned about it. I'm going to get my lightener out. I've got fuzzies on my thing. Somebody, somebody emailing me, telling me all the things I'm doing wrong here. Okay, there's my foil. I would, I like to be able to grab them quicker, so I'm going to kind of separate them out as I go here. <laughs> So they're easier for me to grab. Okay. All right. So I've got my piece. And just because I did not, you know, just because I stopped and, and moved things around, that's not going to get you docked anything. Okay. So my first foil, hold that over the back, put my foil down. Okay. I can't put my hand down on her nose. I'm going to have it up here on her forehead. Here's my product. I'm going to start about a half inch away from the scalp. Get my hand underneath there. Okay. I'm going to get this all covered. I'm going to take my brush in and go up here sideways. This yellow is pretty good, honestly, to see even on this brown hair. Pretty easy. I'm just coming right up to the edge of the foil. I'm not going all the way to her scalp. And then I'm going to get these ends covered. They want to make sure that you have enough product. You can... Reload your brush. That's not a problem at all. Get that in there. But see where I cut that to six and a half inches up there? It all fits in there. I don't have to worry about twirling hair up. Okay. I'm going to do this one in thirds because it's on her face. So I folded it up. Fold it up again. Bring that side in. Bring that side in. 
going to go back about an inch or so. And I'm going to pile that hair kind of over to the side. i to make sure I got enough room here. I'm actually going to pull my slice from the top side of that. Because mostly the only reason that I'm doing it that way is because I don't want any hair laying over here when I get to that section. Okay, so I did my slice. Oil, get my oil in there. Okay, I'm just kind of holding, I'm not like pressing on our head with this. I'm just holding that hair tight until I can get my product in there at that half inch line and then get my hand underneath. Full shaft. New growth, work your way up, and then the ends. So this one, I'm not going to worry about that triple fold because it's not going to come down in her face. I'm just going to do the normal fold it in half business. Okay, same thing here. This is going to come over to this side. I really hope you can see from the side what I'm doing here. Make a slice at the top of it, grab my foil, did not have enough lightener on my brush, okay, work it up to the top. Anybody time me? I don't even know where I'm at time-wise. Fold. I don't want to mess with the timer, so. But I know that all of this, that we can get this done. Okay, my last one is going to be on this very back piece, right? Just got to do four. See, I've got a couple extra foils there, so if I had really ripped that first one that I was going to do my strand test with, I could have just grabbed one of these, it would have been fine. Um, you know, if you get in there and you start making your sections too small, you wanna have that extra foil because it says a minimum of four. You can do more than four foils. I mean, honestly, if you think you can uh, baby light this whole top of this head, okay, I'm gonna come in sideways, work it up to the edge of the foil. So I did cold shaft, new growth, get those ends covered, brush down, put it in. Done. Set my comb down. I'm leaving my gloves on because I'm not going to change gloves. That's a waste. I'm going to step back, which I'd be back. And they're going to come over and they're going to check one foil and they're probably going to check the front foil. Um, but if they're all done right, you don't have anything to worry about. Okay, so they're going to pull it down. They're going to see if you got everything covered, you got enough product on there, and that you got it worked up to the edge of the foil. Okay. And then, you know, they're going to go check everybody else. They're going to say, do nothing until everybody's ready. Okay, so everybody's done. Everybody's ready. This test doesn't take that long. But they have to, you have to wait for everybody else. So you guys are going to do a lot of standing around because I know that you will know this before you go. Um, so that was highlighting with foil. Um, next one is hair color retouch with colored simulated product. Um, you have 10 minutes for this. These are the, this is the one where I see more students forget steps. Okay. So um, I'm going to actually read this one off, and then we'll go from there. Um, you'll perform a hair color retouch application. You will apply simulated hair color product to one section of the back of the head. The client has one inch of regrowth. You'll be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You'll be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. They read that whole spiel again, and then they say, you may begin. Sorry, guys, I put my water on the wrong table. Okay, so I'm going to sanitize my hands. Okay, I need to turn her around. Sorry, guys. 
because you would be standing behind her, so it really wouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, I'm trying to kind of go to the sides so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's part of this section. We're going to do this section right here. I pull that down, take her, her uh, clip out. Again, they're assuming this is the same client, so you do not have to keep throwing these combs in your to be disinfected thing. Hey, I'm done with my lightener now. Okay, so I can put that lid on. Okay, I'm going back to color. I'm getting rid of my brush to be disinfected. Oh my gosh, that bag's gonna be a mess. So I'm gonna do my color. If you have a favorite brush, you have a favorite brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this one for this. Honestly, I could have probably put the um, highlight, and then highlight stuff away. Um, again, we need to barrier cream on this. Okay, somehow I got lightener on my phone. So I'm just going to wipe it off on this little towel right here. You can do that. You do that with your clients, right? Okay, so I got my barrier cream. Actually, probably should do that while this is still clipped up. You guys know me. I put it on the back of my hand. Trash. I come all the way around her here. Find the ear, around the front, lift that foil. If you have extra paper towels, which you're probably going to want, yeah, I already came around that side of the front. So, Oop, just got that in her ear. Not a great thing. Around her ear. Okay, that's on there. Again, I could either use a paper towel, I can wipe this on the underneath side of her towel. What's what was left on my hand, okay? So now that's clean. Okay, take the clip down. I've got one inch of regrowth, right? This is a regrowth application. Um, they are looking that you don't get it all over the skin, so make sure that your barrier cream is not the same color as your relaxer or as your hair color. And they want you to do the outside first. Okay, outline that section first. This is, I mean, y'all can do this real easy. This goes right on the scalp and out one inch. Okay. Yeah, shoot, this, this uh, brush doesn't. I'm just going to lift that up. Half inch or less sections, um, I tend, tend to do between a half and a quarter, sometimes a quarter if they've got really thick, coarse hair. And I'm really just coming right through, load that brush, come up an inch. You don't have to do both sides of this because as I'm pushing this through from the back side, it's getting on the front side from what I just had done. me a little bit of a fit there. It's just, I feel like it's just easier to use your tail of your tint brush to do it, but you can set this down in between every section and part that off with a rat tail comb. You can. This one's, this stuff's a little bit on the slimy side. This section's getting, it's getting a little wide here, so you might have to part twice. See what I'm saying here? I had to part that twice because it's just too hard to hold that much hair in my hand at once. And that's legal to do. A lot of people will section almost more like a perm to do a, a retouch like this, just because that way they can go across all three sections. Drop to piece. Mm -hmm. 
just practice, guys. That's all this is. It's just, just practice it. Get used to flipping that tail around of your tint brush. Instead of putting it down every time. I mean, this is just common sense, regular hair coloring. It's exactly how I teach you how to do it in class. Okay, put that down. Put your brush down, step back. Step back. Okay, so you are done with that section. Um, we had 10 minutes to do that, right? I don't think it took a full 10. Um, everybody's done. Candidates have indicated they've completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Okay, and they've marked your papers, whatever. Next thing is your virgin hair relaxer application with colored simulated product. This is not time. They are going to come to you individually and ask you to demonstrate um, your virgin hair relaxer, okay? So I'm gonna turn my baby doll again so you guys can see a little bit more what I'm doing. She's getting, I'm gonna really turn her this way. Okay, so I'm done with my color, right? To be disinfected, put my lid on. If I wanted to, I could probably throw that in my to be disinfected too. I'm going to grab my relaxer, get that out, sanitize my hands. Again, I need barrier cream all the way around on this. So I'm going to do my barrier cream again, even though it's already on there. Do it again. In the trash, that stick goes. Okay. Thing is, is if you got your berry cream on good that first time, it's a pretty quick, because even if you miss a spot, it's gonna show up from the time before. There we go. And again, I'm gonna use, so you can kind of see my spot there. This towel's gonna to be stained, hope nobody needs to borrow it, okay? So I've wiped my hand. I'm going to kind of straddle this table just a little bit so you can see. Putting the lid back on my barrier cream. You can slide up there because I'm done with my barrier cream now, right? Okay, rat tail comb. I'm going to come right from the top on this. I'm trying, guys. Right from the top on this. Really skinny slice. This is why I pushed all that hair from, from the highlights over to the other side. Really skinny slice. Need my brush. They may stop you right off the bat after you get the one done. I think some of it's gonna depend on how many people are in there. Okay, you can either keep the comb in your hand or you can set the comb down when you pick up your brush, either way, okay? I'm a, I'm a little comber, okay? Ooh, this one's really thin, guys. Okay, I wanna start a half inch away. I'm going to do the cold shaft, right? So I can hold on down here at the ends. Make sure that's covered well. This is a quick service. Remember, I told you guys, you got 20 minutes total. You really need to have an entire head covered in like five to eight minutes. Okay, then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to work that up close to the scalp. They are looking that you don't get it on the scalp. Okay, so I've got that worked up to the scalp. Okay, now at this point, there's a couple of different ways I can do this. Easiest way for me is to just take my fingers, slide them through. Done, okay? If I was not comfortable with that, because that's really honestly how I do this when I had done them in the past. Okay, so we gotta pretend it's not through the ends. You can use um, the tail of your brush to smooth. Smooth that out, drop it, or you can grab your comb and you can use the back side of your comb, not the teeth. Okay, you can use the back side to smooth that out through there, or you can use the tail of it to smooth out there. Okay, to me, the easiest way still is just going to be once you get that worked up there to the top, just slide your fingers through and let it go. You're done. That's it. They're going to the next person. Okay, so at this point now, yes, I'm gonna take the gloves off because I've got goo all over between my fingers, right? So I'm gonna take those off. 
And I'm going to close up my relaxer and I'm going to throw my tint brush in my to be disinfected and my gloves in the trash. And I'm pretty much done. I can throw this stuff in my to be disinfected. Let me see what they're going to say to you before I do this. Okay. So they're going to, they said, please demonstrate the virgin relaxer application procedure. Then they're going to say, please do nothing until the next verbal instructions are given. Okay. And then once they get through everyone, all examiners have indicated they are ready to proceed. Okay. So see what I all still have up here. Okay, I've got my hand sanitizer, my water, these things that I'm actually done with. Um, I've still got a, a couple of clips laying up here. That's fine. I've got some clean combs laying up here and a couple of foils. I don't need them, they're, they're, but they're fine. They're not hurting anything sitting there. <clears throat> the last thing, darn it, we're doing good, uh, is the blood exposure procedure. You have 10 minutes. You'll demonstrate the blood exposure procedure let me get to it on this page, okay? Okay. So you cut your finger. If you're right-handed, you cut your left finger. If you're left-handed, you cut your right finger, okay? I cut my finger. Okay. You'll imagine the following scenario. During a service, you have sustained a minor cut to your index finger. Index finger. Okay, it doesn't say any of these other ones. It is your index finger. So they are gonna pay attention that you're doing your index finger. Okay, um, the injury is such that you can continue with the service. Your work area or client has not been contaminated. You're expected to demonstrate the proper procedure for a blood exposure. You're expected to follow all client protection, safety, infection control, all of those things. It's in everything we do. And then they say you may begin. You have 10 minutes to do this. Okay, so I cut my finger. First thing I'm going to do is put a glove on that hand, right? Because I've got gloves, extra gloves sitting out here. I'm going to sanitize my glove and my other hand. Okay, I don't want to sanitize before I put that glove on um, because hand sanitizer would send you through the roof. Okay, so here's my bag. So I've got a glove on there. And what I have done with these is I honestly separated them all out. I have four sets of these, okay? So I can just do that, close that one up. This is the one I wanna get everything out, okay? If I've sanitized my hand, it's fine to reach in there, okay? I did not grab the bag that, I have some stand-up bags in there that are easy, but you know what? I can just lean that up against my color things. Hopefully, this, it'll stay up for you. If it doesn't, that's okay. Okay, so I'm still, my hand is sanitized, I'm good here. I'm going to put this other glove on again. I think this one's large. It could be a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to glove up this hand. I'm going to open oops, my alcohol wipe. Put that in there. Okay, I'm just going to kind of stick that out just a little bit. My Band-Aid. Hard to do with gloves on, guys, let me tell you especially if you have gloves that aren't fitting. These are both large gloves, I'm pretty positive. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that out there. So now I'm gonna pull the glove off of this hand, the one that's got the cut, I'm gonna throw that in the bag. I'm gonna grab my alcohol wipe, wipe it off, grab that and the pad, stick it in the bag. I'm gonna grab my Band-Aid, Okay, remember to keep that finger out of the way. You can't be using that finger to open things and hold things. Okay, so I'm gonna put that Band-Aid on my finger where I cut my index finger, boom, boom. Take the trash, put it in there. Put a new glove on your cut hand. Now mind you, you guys have 10 minutes to do this. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this glove off, put it in the bag, close the bag. Right, close the bag and put it in my trash. Step back, 10 minutes, you're done. So this concludes the blah, 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 blah. Don't leave anything here. Um, don't use the trash here. Everything has to go back in your black bag so that you can get out of there and get everything cleaned up, okay? Um, they're still gonna be somewhat paying attention to what you're doing as you're cleaning up. So make sure that you're putting things 
in the right containers. Okay. Because honestly, everything that I put in the trash really is trash. So when I get home, I'm just going to throw that in the trash. Right. Uh, it's the stuff that's in my linens and my um, to be disinfected that I'm going to have to clean up. And you honestly want to clean that stuff up as soon as possible, especially um, your doll is kind of a main thing because she's going to be stained. So um, when you guys are practicing, do not practice with the food coloring in because this doll, I promise you, is going to be stained from that food coloring that I use to uh, do this. So we know we have at least one full bag if I can repack all this stuff. And um, hopefully I can get the first part of this test back up online for you and you can see the whole thing start to finish then, okay? Um, bear with me, guys. I'm really trying to get this done for you. Um, and I will see you next time. If I can find where this is to shut you off. There you go. Bye-bye.